Well, here we go again with, with Nike, Colin Kaepernick, another conversation about the shoe company, about sports and politics and, and so many different issues. Uh, this one involves the Betsy Ross flag. And I have to say that I did not realize that Nazis had appropriated the Betsy Ross flag. So at first blush, you say, what's wrong with the, the Betsy Ross flag? But as you start to look at this and you read about it a little bit, you realize that, that uh, Nazis have appropriated the Betsy Ross flag as their own. And so my first question would be to Nike is, why didn't they do their research? Why didn't they figure that out? And why not just find another flag that has not been appropriated by Nazis uh, and put that on the shoe? And in many ways, I think it's just the plain old good old US flag our current flag, it seems to me, would be a, a logical choice. So clearly they didn't do their homework or they didn't know this or whatever, but I think we can, most of us can agree that it's probably best to not have a flag associated with Nazis on any shoes or on anything or be involved with that at all. So that's what this part of the story is. And it was Colin Kaepernick who let Nike know about it. And, and that makes sense that Kaepernick is aware of this and good for him for letting Nike know. But now throw in the governor of Arizona, Doug Ducey, who has in a series of tweets said that because of Nike saying no to the Betsy Ross flag shoe, uh, he's going to cut incentives for the company to be able to build a plant in Arizona. Now, this seems to be uh, another reach uh, in another direction in the sense that let it let it go. Uh, Nike has made a business decision to not have the shoe with a um, that has Nazi overtones. But um, no, the governor had to go there. And one would think that almost any state would want to have Nike uh, in their state. So as a business decision, hopefully uh, maybe he'll change his mind. This one is disguised as another issue of Kaepernick versus the right or the left versus the right. But it might be more of a learning lesson. It might be more of a, a, a teachable moment for the country. I learned something. I did not realize, maybe I should have, but I did not realize that the Betsy Ross flag had been appropriated by Nazis for their own purposes. So it might sound a little Pollyannish, but I, I did learn something. And maybe we all learned something about this. And if we stop, step back and stop and just say, hey, wait a minute, let's just not tweet necessarily. Let's look at the issues. Colin Kaepernick, it's always been about peaceful protests for Colin Kaepernick. Like him, hate him, middle ground, whatever you feel about Kaepernick, he has told us something interesting. He told Nike something, Nike has acted on it. And as a company in America where capitalism thrives, uh, we want to let companies make that decision. And so that's exactly what Nike did. They, uh, they took all that information they were given. They learned something, obviously. They didn't do their research or whatever, but now Nike's learned something and we're all learning in the process. And I think there's a positive, a little bit of a silver lining in one of these, uh, another controversial dark cloud.